Hey guys, we are in North Carolina at the Participate Learning Facilities where over 1,000 educators from around the globe are enrolled in the program, including four Belizean teachers. So follow me to find out how you can become a global educator with Participate Learning. We've been in business in international exchange for more than 30 years, primarily in the state of North Carolina, but also in Virginia and South Carolina. Currently we have about 1,100 teachers from 25 or 30 different countries uh, in those three states and we have partnerships with probably about 400 different schools across the states. We do a multi-step process to try to get the note to know the teacher as well as we can before we offer to bring them to the United States. The first one is we do an application review and then if they've met their criteria then um, we do a, an over the phone interview or Skype interview with them and then review all of their documents and make sure that they'll be eligible to work and teach in the United States. And then we'll usually assign them to an in-person interview in their home country. For example, in Belize last year we went twice, I believe once in November and once in March to interview several candidates and we're hoping to do the same this year with the intention um, of hopefully bringing five to ten teachers from Belize this year. So we've been bringing teachers for 30 years. More than 20,000 teachers from 77 countries around the world have, have come uh, to the U.S. to teach uh, temporarily through our program. Um, I still hear from many of them uh, and they talk about how spending those years uh, abroad learning uh, from their U.S. colleagues and from colleagues from all over the world and teaching students here, it was life-changing for them as well. And so the idea really is for teachers to not only change their own lives and give themselves an amazing uh, cultural and professional experience, but also to change the lives of their students. There are some basic requirements, so there's an experience requirement that needs to be met, so that, that would be a first thing. Um, it's, it's pretty important to know how to drive. Um, that may sound uh, simple, um, but uh, we still don't have the kind of public transportation that allows people to get around very easily, and so simply getting from an apartment to school is, is pretty critical. Um, learning as much as you can about the U.S. culture and its education system could be very useful, and of course, uh, uh, um, English skills are, are quite critical. What we've noticed over the years is uh, the impact that our teachers make with the students. And so, while part of our mission is for them to come and learn about the culture in the United States, it's also to go back and, and take what they've learned back in their home country. Uh, that kind of completes the exchange cycle so that the students in both countries really can benefit. 